Good evening. I'm Melissa Holland. I'm the pastor of Pops Christi Catholic Church. Thank you for joining me and Deacon Ed Parsons here at Pops Christi for day four of the Octave for Christian Unity, praying together as we call to mind the words in John's Gospel, I do not call you servants any longer, but I have called you friends. During this time of social distancing, we give thanks for the gifts we have, have that make it possible for us to come together in prayer when we cannot come together to pray in person. Let us listen to the word of God. The first reading is from Romans 8, 26 to 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness. For we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us, searching the hearts of men, knowing what is the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. The second reading is from Luke 11, one through four. He was praying in a certain place. And when he ceased, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. And he said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone who is indebted to us and lead us not into temptation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. God thirsts for a relationship with us. God searches for us as God searched for Adam, calling him in the garden, where are you? In Christ, God came to meet us. Jesus lived in prayer, intimately united to his Father while creating friendships with his disciples and all those he met. He introduced them to that which was most precious to him, the relationship of love with his Father, who is our Father. Jesus and his disciples sang psalms together, rooted in the richness of their Jewish tradition. At other times, Jesus retired to pray alone. Prayer can be solitary or shared with others. It can express wonder, complaint, intercession, thanksgiving, or simple silence. Sometimes the desire to pray is there, but one has the feeling of not being able to do so. Turning to Jesus and saying to him, teach me, Lord, can pave the, pave the way. Our desire itself is already prayer. Getting together in a group offers us support through hymns, words, and silence. Communion is created. If we pray with Christians of other traditions, we may be surprised to feel united by a bond of friendship that comes from the one who is beyond all divisions. The forms may vary, but it is the same spirit that brings us together. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, your, your entire, entire life, life was a prayer. prayer. Perfect, Perfect harmony with the, with the Father. Father. Through, Through your spirit, spirit teach, teach us to pray, pray according to your, your will of love. love. May, may, the may the faithful of the whole world unite in intercession and praise. And, and may your, your kingdom, kingdom of love come. come. Amen. Amen. 